Another delicious coffee treat is a coffee cream pie. This is a decadent, delicious end to any meal. 25 chocolate wafers. You just break them up into the bowl of a food processor. These are the bases for a cookie crust. So 25 exactly. Process these a little bit first just to get them fine. And that looks good. And add three tablespoons of granulated sugar and five tablespoons of melted butter and a pinch of salt. Always good to add a little bit of salt to a sweet crust of savory. There, that's it. Couldn't be easier. So get all of these crumbs into your nine inch pie plate and spread them out evenly. Very dark indeed. Now use the backs of your fingers and push the crumbs up over the rim. Once you form the crust, chill it and preheat your oven to 350 degrees and bake for just about 10 minutes. So our crust is baked. Now it's time to make the coffee custard filling. We need three quarters of a cup of sugar and a heavy bottom saucepan combined with, oh, about a quarter of a teaspoon of salt and a quarter of a cup of cornstarch. Whisk this all together so that you eliminate any lumps and add two and a half cups of whole milk. And just keep stirring until it's dissolved. And you can also add two tablespoons of your flavoring, which is, in this case, espresso powder. This dissolves so nicely in a liquid like milk. And while that's warming, in a bowl, add four large egg yolks. So just whisk this together. The custard is hot enough to start adding into your egg yolks. This is that same tempering right, for any custard to make sure that the egg yolks themselves don't curdle. So now that these are tempered, you can add these right back into the custard. Keep whisking, don't go away. Once this comes to a boil, cook for two minutes and then put through a sieve. By pressing through a sieve, you're really eliminating any lumps or impurities from the eggs. So while this is hot, add a quarter of a cup of coffee liqueur. And there are many different kinds of coffee liqueur. You'll certainly have your favorite. Add that to your custard. This intensifies the flavor of the espresso. And a teaspoon of vanilla. Great combination. And four tablespoons of room temperature butter, which will melt into your custard and enrich it. Make sure this is room temperature before you put it into your pie crust. So here's our cooled coffee flavored custard. Slide that right into that beautiful crust. So smooth that out. Cover this with a piece of plastic wrap just so that you don't get a skin while this is chilling in the fridge for a couple hours. It has to really set. And now for the topping for the coffee cream pie, whip two and a half cups of cold heavy cream in a chilled bowl. Add two tablespoons of confectioner's sugar. You don't need too much sweet in this. And one teaspoon of espresso powder, just for flavor. Get that all incorporated and spoon it over your chilled pie. I like a nice moundy cream topping. Now that looks very nice. And now I have little chocolate curls that can uh, gild the lily. And these are just beautiful little details that make this beautiful, beautiful pie even more beautiful. 
So if you're a guests or coffee lovers, they're gonna love this pie, enjoy. <laughs>